Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are creating an animated GIF or animated MP4 of falling accumulating snowfall in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. So I'm going to jump into Procreate and then we'll get started. Okay, so before we create a new document, I kind of want to go over what's happening here. That way you understand how we're going to be layering everything once we get into creating groups of our layers. So what we have is these round snowflakes right here that are kind of in the background, so they're a little blurrier, just to create that atmospheric perspective. So our round snowflakes are behind our lettering in all of these instances. And then all these snowflakes, these more detailed snowflakes are in front of the lettering. So we've got that layering going on. And then we've got the accumulating snow on top of our lettering. So those are the main aspects of this animation. So I'm going to create a brand new canvas that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels. It's RGB since this is meant to be seen on screen and it's 300 DPI. That extra resolution just makes those edges a little bit more crisp for when you're exporting. So I'm going to create that canvas now and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this canvas all set up and the colors I'm using are right here. And as always, just click on the link in the video description and you can download this color palette for free. So for this tutorial, I'm using two of my own free Procreate brushes. There's a snowflake stamp brush and then there's a mono weight brush. And then I'm using the default soft brush airbrush that comes with Procreate. And then finally for the lettering, I'm using one of my own paid brushes, which I'll share a link to. So the first thing we wanna do is set our background color. So tap on your background color and I'm choosing the darkest blue color right here. And then what we're going to do is put our lettering on this first layer and we're going to grab this medium blue color right there. And then the brush that we're using that's paid that I mentioned is this jittery ink texture. It's part of my Font Lovers Procreate brush set. Or you can just use whatever favorite brush you have to create your lettering. I love this one because it gives me a little bit of a rougher edge, which is perfect for this snow themed animation. So I'm just going to write out the word shiver. Okay, I'm going to center this just a little bit better and we are good to go. All right, so now we have our lettering. I'm going to label this one lettering. And then behind it, we need to have those circular snowflakes falling. So I'm going to create a new layer right above this and this will be called background snow. And I'm going to grab my darkest gray color right here. So it's the third one in. And I'm going to also grab under your airbrush category, grab the soft brush and the soft brush is sized at 2%. And with your finger, you don't need to use your Apple pencil for this. With your finger, you're just going to dot everywhere on the screen. Okay, and since this is snow that's in the distance, we need to reduce the opacity. So tap on the end and reduce the opacity down to 60%. And then we need to drag this behind our lettering. So tap, hold, and then drag below your lettering layer. And now it's in the background. Now tap on your lettering layer and create a new layer right above it. And we're gonna call this foreground snow. And we're still keeping that same darker gray color right here. So it's the third one. And then we're going to be using my free snow stamps brush. So I'll leave a link in the video description. You can get the snow stamps brush when you become a free email subscriber along with a bunch of other Procreate brushes and color palettes. So just a heads up about that. So there's five different custom snowflakes here. And to show you what they look like, I'm just going to stamp with each one of these. I've got them set right around between four and 6%, I think this one's 4%. And I'm just going to stamp this one around with my finger and then grab my snow number two and stamp that one around. Okay, so now we've got all of our snow on top and in the back and we've got our lettering and we're just going to keep this exactly the way it is for our first group. So in order to group these together, we're just going to toggle each one of these to the right so they're all selected and then choose group and then we can toggle up our group. And now we're going to access our animation assist. This comes with Procreate 5, so make sure that you've updated your version of Procreate to Procreate 5 so you can follow along exactly. And you're going to tap on the wrench icon, choose canvas, and then toggle on your animation assist. And you'll get this little dialog box down here at the bottom. And we wanna adjust our settings just slightly for this. So tap on settings and you're going to reduce the onion skin opacity all the way down to zero. We don't want that showing up at all because if we have that showing up, then as we add in new groups, it's going to get really confusing with where your snowflakes are because you're gonna see a ton of snowflakes on top of each other. So this is really important. Make sure you've toggled this all the way down to 0%. 
And then frames per second by default, Procreate's got this set at 15, which is way too fast for this type of animation. So I'm going to bring this down to five and it'll be a little bit more realistic and easy to see. So we've got that at five, onion skin opacity down to 0%, and then we're all set. So I'm going to toggle this off, and now we're going to duplicate our group. So toggle this over and choose duplicate. And now we're going to start adjusting our snow so it looks like it's falling. So toggle down your brand new group, so this is your top layer, and we're going to select our background snow and our foreground snow. So toggle this to the right. So just these two layers are selected. Make sure your group isn't selected because then it'll select everything. Make sure that just these two layers are selected. And then you're going to grab your selection. So tap on this icon up here and then make sure that your magnetics is selected down here and that you've got uniform selected. And this will keep it straight so it looks like it's falling straight down from the sky. And then you're just going to drag everything down and you can choose how fast or how far you'd like your snow to fall. I'm bringing mine down just about that much. Okay, and then we can deselect just by tapping on our arrow tool. And now we want to add in wherever this blank space is up here, we need to fill it with snow again. So come back to your background snow layer, make sure your background snow is selected. Come over to your airbrush layer, your soft brush, and now you can just dot in this white space just to fill it in so it looks like snow is continuing to fall. And then you're going to tap on your foreground snow, select your snow stamps, and just add a couple new snowflakes up at the top. And you wanna make sure that you're not cropping the snowflakes, so you don't want it to be like this because then, then when you drag it down, you're going to have a snowflake that's cut in half. So just be aware when you're stamping your snowflake, stamp it close to the edge of the top, but don't crop it off the top like that. So you don't want an edge that's cropped off. And now what we're going to do is start accumulating that snow on top of our lettering. So I'm going to create a new layer right above my lettering layer and just call this one snow. And we're going to grab the brightest gray color right here. And then you're going to grab that free mono weight brush that I mentioned right here. And you want the size of the mono weight brush to be right around three to 4%. Mine is at 4%. And you're just going to start painting just a little bit on the tops of your letters. So it's kind of wavy lines as snow looks as it's starting to accumulate. And we're putting it in places where the snow would fall and land. So if it's on an edge going down, gravity is going to pull it off of it. So we wanna make sure that the flatter areas of our letters are where the snow is building up and also in any creases. So right here is a crease and right here is a crease. This is naturally where snow would start accumulating first. So I'm just going to drop some of these areas in, and then we're just going to add even more to it as our snow falls. Once you've put a little bit of snow on your lettering, now what we're going to do is duplicate this entire group again. So slide it over to the left, choose duplicate, toggle this new group down, and we're going to repeat the exact same thing that we did. So I'm going to grab my background snow and my foreground snow first. So slide that over so both of these are selected. Grab your arrow tool up here, drag it down just a little ways. Go back to your background snow layer. Make sure the darker gray is selected right here. Grab your airbrush, soft brush, dot in the white space to fill it in. Come to your foreground snow, select your snow stamps. And then come to your snow layer and make sure the brighter gray is always selected whenever you're on the snow layer that's accumulating because this is in the foreground so it's going to be brighter snow than the snow that's falling around it. And we're going to grab our mono weight brush again and we're just going to add a little bit extra to it. So I'm adding a bit to the top and to the sides. And this is kind of a slow accumulation because as our animation moves on, it's going to slowly accumulate. And if you do a lot at once, it's going to look really abrupt and we don't want that look. With snowfall, it's very peaceful and gradual. So that's the feeling we want when we're creating this animation. So I'm just adding a little bit extra. These are coming closer together. So the next time they're going to connect.
Okay, we've got an extra layer of snow, so I'm going to repeat the exact same process again, and then I'll give you a little preview of what this animation looks like. Just a heads up, this is kind of a tedious process, so if you're at home and you're sitting in front of the TV, and if you're looking to create some art without having to think too hard about it, this is a perfect project to do. So I just wanna give you some warning that this does take some time to create, but it's really fun and you get to preview it as you move along. So I'm going to slide this over, duplicate, and then I'm going to speed up the video and then I'll be right back and I'll show you a little preview and then I'll speed it up for the rest of the way. Okay, so I've got that new layer of all of my snow here. I can close up my group. So since we only have four groups right here, our animation is going to be pretty short, but at least we can get a preview of how things are looking so far. So I'm just going to hit play down here and you can see that build up. And it's looking really cool. It just needs a bunch more groups and then it'll look even better. So I'm going to speed up the video. I'm going to just keep repeating the exact same process that I talked about before. So I'm going to keep doing this and then I'll be back for the final reveal. All right, so I think I'm at about 12 groups now. Yeah, I'm at 12 groups. So let's give this a preview now that I've got quite a few groups built up. And let's also see what it looks like if the animation's just a little quicker. We'll do six frames per second instead of five. I think I like the six frames per second, so I'm gonna stick with that. All right, so you have two options now. You can export this as an animated GIF or an animated MP4. You will want to export this as an animated MP4 if you're posting to Instagram, and in order to post it to Instagram, it has to be at least three seconds long. So when you export this as an MP4, check your camera roll and make sure that it's at at least three seconds before you try and post it to Instagram. Otherwise it won't work. So if you're at like two seconds and you need to get that last second, just add a few more groups and then you can get that extra second or slow down your animation. So reduce your frames per second right in your settings right here. And that'll make for a lengthier animation as well. If you wanna see this on loop, on repeat, when you export it as an MP4, it gives you one cycle of your animation. If you export it as an animated GIF, it'll cycle through and it'll keep looping in your photos folder, but you can't post an animated GIF to Instagram. It'll just post it as a still image. So heads up about that. That's super important, especially if you're planning to post it to Instagram. So that is how to create a falling snow animation in Procreate using the new animation assist tool in Procreate 5. Once again, links to everything mentioned in this tutorial are right in the video description, including the free color palette and all those brushes that I mentioned. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, Subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and design freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and decide to post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.